this video, we're going to describe how an installer will exchange and remap microinverter serial numbers in the Enphase system after a microinverter has been physically replaced. Every Enphase microinverter has a unique serial number, which identifies it from the rest. When a system is installed, installers map the serial number from each microinverter into an array map, which shows the location of each microinverter and its position in the array. When troubleshooting site PV problems, Enphase monitoring can flag problems in the array down to a specific microinverter, helping installers to identify and locate the problems. When microinverters are changed and replaced, the old serial number has to be replaced with the new serial number in the monitoring system and in the array map. We're going to walk through the simple steps using the Enphase installer smartphone app to accomplish all the serial number changing and remapping. These steps will electronically remove the old serial number of the failed microinverters in the Enphase monitoring system. This will retire the old devices from service, replace it with the new microinverter serial number, and remap the new serial number into the monitoring array map. For this example, I'm going to use a site where I physically replaced a microinverter and now need to change the serial number in the Enphase monitoring system. This step should be done after you physically replace the microinverter with the approved Return Materials Authorization RMA unit with the new microinverter and after you've reprovisioned the system with a new microinverter or microinverters if you replace more than one. Before you start, you'll need a few things. First, have the serial number of the microinverter you removed from the array and are replacing. Second, have the serial number of the new microinverter you're putting into the array to replace the old one. Next, you'll have to install the latest Enphase installer app onto your phone. If you have an Apple mobile device, go to the Apple App Store and search for the Enphase installer toolkit. The icon should look like this. If you have an Android device, go to the Google Play Store and search for the Enphase installer toolkit. Once you've found the app, download it onto your phone or tablet. After it's loaded, tap the icon to open the app. To access the app, you'll need to log in with your company's provided login. If you use any other login, you won't be able to see the systems your company wants you to work with. If you don't have the right company login, contact your system administrator to get yourself set up. Once you log in, you'll want to allow location access and enable auto download to get the latest system software you may have to upload to the system. I'm going to choose auto download over Wi-Fi so my app will update when I'm Wi-Fi connected and not use my cellular bandwidth. Once I'm logged in, I'll see the systems associated with my company and user login. Today I've replaced an inverter at a customer site and need to swap the serial numbers in the monitoring and the array map. In this example, the site where I replaced the microinverter has a numeric site name of 3978715, so I'll search for it in my search bar. If you're on site, the phone's location service will list your company's job sites by what's the closest to your location, so that might make it easier for you to find the site. Here's my site, 3978715, so I'll tap to access that site. When the site opens, there will be a number of commissioning steps used by installers to commission a system. We want to scroll down to the bottom of the main page to the service section. In this section, there will be two options. Option one, request return and install replacement and option two create a support case. Since we replaced a microinverter, I'll choose the request return and install replacement option. When this opens, I'll choose the install replacement option. In the install replacement section of the app, I'll want to enter the original device serial number. That's the microinverter I pulled off the array and I'm replacing. The serial number is shown here. I'm going to type my old serial number, 12165001-4119. When I start typing the serial number of the microinverter, a list of microinverters that are approved for replacement will appear. If multiple serial numbers appear, I just need to find the one that I'm replacing and select it. That's this serial number, 12165001-4119. If the serial number of the microinverter you replaced doesn't appear, You'll need to contact your administrator to ensure they submitted an RMA request for the replaced unit and that was pulled from the array. When I find the RMA unit, I'll select that and I'll move and tap the enter replacement number field. 
In this field, I'll enter the serial number of the replacement mic converter. I'll have to be really careful to type this in correctly. The new replacement mic converter serial number is 2022-2713-1904. If there is more than one mic converter being replaced, tap the Replace Another Device button and repeat with the next original and replacement serial numbers. After I've input the original serial numbers and replacement, I just need to tap the Submit button when I'm done. All of the serial number exchanges and even the remapping in the array will be done in the background automatically. You're now finished and you can back out of the service section and close the app.